Alright. Um. Yeah. It's good. It's good when an enemy gets close when you're using these melee weapons because it increases your chance to hit. Come on. Damn. Alright, good. Finally managed to hit that ant. So let's go and check the chest over here. And here we find some antidote. Uh, might come in handy for any scorpion bites that we get. I think I'm actually going to use some healing powder now. And looks like it made us lose one perception. Oh well. Uh, we don't really need this perception skill here, so it's kind of useless. Alright, so it looks like this door is pretty solid. And yeah, Remus considers it to be impenetrable, so he's thinking that maybe he should use explosives here and um, yeah, a clearer path. Yeah, let's run the hell away from the explosive and wait for it to explode. <coughs> Alright. Apparently the exploded the it exploded prematurely due to our um uh due to our lack of skill, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, what do we got here? Another ant. Let's just take this ant down and look for any loot. Now that rune looks particularly interesting. Alright, looks like we've got two now. Alright, that's one down. And one more to go. It's kind of silly that you could miss from point range, uh, point blank range, but uh, whatever. Uh, let's check what's in this chest. Nothing. <coughs> Alright, um, I don't think I'm actually going to go in that room yet, uh, because we want to explore a bit more. I'm actually wondering what's in here. Alright, looks like two scorpions. Shouldn't be too much of a trouble. So yeah, let's deal with the scorpions and then grab whatever we can from this room before continuing on. Alright. Killing the scorpion in one hit. It's fortunate for us. Alright, let's deal with this second one now. Alright. So yeah, I don't I'm not expecting much in this chest. Uh alright, just antidote and healing powder. Oh well, every little bit helps. Okay, so uh, looks like we've cleared out everywhere in this Temple of Trials, so how about we just go ahead and continue on. So Remus doesn't yet know who this person is, so he's going to actually be quite cautious when he's talking to him. 
Alright. <clears throat> Greetings, Remus. I have the honor of being your final challenge. Get to, to continue on your quest, you must defeat me in unarmed combat. Oh. Shall we begin? Well, Remus isn't really suited to unarmed combat, so, um... He's going to parlay a bit, see if he can get out of it. I've got some questions for you first. Um... What would you like to know? Um, why do we have to fight? The path of the Chosen One is not an easy trail to walk, Remus. You will be faced with many challenges throughout your lifetime. And the most difficult of these will be dealing with your fellow man. There will come a time when diplomacy and tact will prove to be useless and your hand must be raised instead. This challenge prepares you to face another human, look him in the eyes and know that you may have to kill him. I see. Alright, um, you say that we are to fight unarmed? Yes, weapons tend to distance us from battle and desensitize the effects of our actions against others. When you strike another human being with your bare fist, you both see and feel the pain you cause. Battle becomes very personal and all too real then. This is an important lesson for you, Remus. Alright, looks like that we can't really get out of this. Um, as much as Remus would like to. Is this a fight to the death? No, my friend, you need only defeat me. When the time comes, we will end the battle. Alright. Uh, let's get this fight over with. Very well, shall we begin? I'm ready. Excellent, your, your equipment will be kept in the trunk outside of the room. You can get it after the fight. Let the fight begin. Good luck to you, Remus. Alright. Alright, let's see what we can... Looks like we can only do strong punches. Alright, let's try and use vats and give them good hit to the torso. Let's try again. Alright. We're not really suited for, um... Unarmed. I think I'm actually going to try the kick next. Oh, man. And we don't have any healing powder either. This is not good. Alright. You have defeated me. You are worthy, Chosen One. Alright, thank God for that. We only had seven hit points left. Alright, so... Looks like Remus has proven himself worthy. And is, um... And is allowed to outside. Alright. You pass the trials of Arroyo, you gain 300 experience points. Alright. You are once more in the village of your birth, Arroyo. Um, which is all too, all too familiar for Remus. And looks like we've got the Vault 13 jumpsuit on. And... Yeah. Um, Remus isn't really too sure about that. Uh, let's go talk to the Elder of the Village. Congratulations, Chosen One. You have survived the Temple of Trials. Are you ready for your quest? Yeah, um, this game also has that same problem where speech gets cut off. But whatever. Alright, of course I am. Then take this flask. It is from the Holy Vault 13. Vic, a traitor in Klamath, brought it to us. He may know where the vault is. You may also need some of what they call money. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like she gave us $152. Um, which is going to be helpful. Uh, as you can see from this dialogue, uh, the people of Arroyo um, believe that Vault 13 to be a sacred place. And 
in case you don't know, or if you haven't watched the Fallout 1 LP, that was actually the place of our previous character's birth. So yeah, our character is actually a descendant of the Vault 13 Wanderer. Alright, um... Is there more you can tell me? I cannot help much. So much has been lost from the long ago. What wisdom do you see? Alright, can you tell me more about this Gek? It is a holy artifact. The Garden of Eden creation kit. The discs promise it will make our lands green and our village prosperous. It will save us. More, I do not know. Alright, um... So, don't really need to know more. In Klamath, we are counting on... Right, so that's our main quest. We need to find a guy called Vic in the city of Klymouth. Um, I'm actually going to pause it here. Oh, we'll end the session at least. Sorry, I'm just used to my name is not Lily. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this session. And I hope you enjoy the idea that I'm playing Fallout 2. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, stay tuned, and I'll be back a bit later, alright?